Miss Odaya, Miss Hano, and Miss Momochi are Team C. Got it. I hope we meet again. It's kind of grim, if you ask. Like, I hope we meet again, so we're, he's expecting us to die down there. <laughs> he's anticipating somebody dying. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Moe Ninja Girls. We're continuing where we left off. We're still on Season 13. And I believe we're moving into Chapter 8 now. Yeah, Chapter 8. Okay, so we're still on our little ghost hunts. That should be pretty good. Wonder what the next one's gonna be. Wait, something was happening to that little theater last time, I remember, yeah. The little Kabuki theater. Should be interesting. Just find out what's causing that. Anyway, all junk. Go figure. But at least I got my free story tickets for it. Cool. Alright. So let's get into it. From Kabuki to the Abyss. Okay, anyway. Let's get into it. The day after we expelled the spirit at the shrine, we're discussing where we're t we take things from here. I've never been so tired in my life. Yamabuki deeply exhales. Must have been tough for her to wield a full moon fan imitation. Dude, me too, gay. I'm starving. Don't you think you owe me for the last night? For the last night? Fine. What do you want? That green tea with gold foil ice cream we saw on the way here. Sounds good to me. What are you two savages? You can't eat gold? Uh, yeah, you can, and it's healthy too. Never heard of gold foil dumplings or gold foil rice or. Just then. In the west, black smoke arises to the sky after an ear piercing explosion. The, the heck was that? Is that a fire? Probably. I can hear the noisy sirens of fire trucks carried over by the wind. And there are not just one or two, but numerous sirens blending in with each other as if something devastating has occurred. Th this doesn't look good at all. That's not so far from here. Let's go see what happened. All right. We arrive at the scene. Smoke's billowing up from the building. Hey, isn't this... The Kabuki Theater. The most famous theater in the town. I know for a fact there was supposed to be a performance today. Did something happen? Nosy spectators gather in front of the Kabuki Theater while police, cars, and ambulances block the entrance. I catch glimpse of someone being hauled into an ambulance. Was this really just a fire? I'm sure it's not as simple as that. Kashin? Kashin shows up out of nowhere, then pushes his way through the crowd. Whoa, hold up! We rush after Kashin. And find him stopping a nearby police officer. Hey, you there. What's going on here? Take a hike. Civilians are not allowed inside. What happened here? Are you stupid or something? Take a look around. We're busy evacuating people. What an asshole. There's a faint burnt smell in the air. Was there an explosion here? Yep, happy. Now get out of here. Hold on, are the people who were inside okay? Civilians are not allowed, damn it! Now scram! Ugh, don't have time for this. Who's in charge here? Excuse me, who do you think you are? Tell them Kojuro Kashin's here, they'll know. 
What? Go. Ugh, the heck's your problem? The low ranking officer leaves his post searching for the boss. Do you have any assumptions what happened here? It's most likely connected to the affair at the shrine. So there's a dragon lair here as well? Yeah, but it was always stable. Too much chi must have accumulated here after I fixed the one at the shrine. The assembled energy needed to well up somewhere, so it looks like it ran over here and destroyed the dragon lair. What? Shouldn't you have predicted that? Well, I did, and I even took measures to prevent it, but the miasma was far more powerful than I had expected. If something isn't done, the miasma is going to continue to flow out of the lair, and this place is going to be a dwelling of nightmares. Oh shit. <laughs> What's going to happen to the city? What if the miasma spreads to the city? This happened because we sealed the other lair. Hmm. So what's the Miu choice here? What if the miasma spreads to the city, maybe? We could try that. What if the miasma spreads to the city? You've seen me, Dodoka Swamp. You remember the spirit you saw there, correct? Yeah? Okay, I think this was a mute choice. Nice. The Tanuki transformed into a humanoid spirit because of the miasma. Exactly. The same thing would happen to the people living here. Ah, shit. If people breathe that in, they'll lose sanity and attack anyone in their sight. You mean... Like a zombie? Good analogy. Say whatever other questions you have for later. There's no time. I have to go underground and seal the lair. Is there anything we can do to help? You understand you would be risking your lives going into the depths of the dragon lair, right? We do. We're prepared. Please let us help. Very well. You can come with me. And that's when the low-ranking officer comes back. However, unlike before, his face is stricken with shame and embarrassment. You, you have my deepest apologies. R right this way, please. Eh. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. Nice. Alright. Let's go. Yes, sir. Once we enter the theater, we're immediately... Immediate... The lick. <laughs> oh, whatever. Once we enter the theater, we're immediately this peculiar suffocating air. Oh, this whole sentence is... <laughs> messed up. Whatever. It's humid and smells of blood. I choke. What is this? The air conditioner's broken or something? No, nothing is wrong with the theater itself. I'm sure you can feel it. That's my asthma. I can't see far because of an enshrouding faint purple haze. The color only gets darker the deeper into the theater you go. I can't believe it's gotten this bad. Kashin! Ugh. Police officer clearly in pain approaches us. And behind, a few other officers are following him like bodyguards. I'm guessing he's pretty high in the ranks as he knows Kashin. How's the situation? It's as bad as it looks. We were able to rescue those who collapsed near the entrance and in the lobby. But there are still many actors and audience members trapped in the theater itself. We prepared gas masks and we're heading in to rescue them, but... Yeah, you did the right thing coming back. A gas mask isn't going to save you from this. Wait outside and let me take care of the rest. But, but we... You're going to be contaminated by the miasma if you stay here any longer. Leave the rest to me and lend a hand to the people outside. 
Understood. We're withdrawing, men. I watch the officers make their way out. Uh, uh, oh, man. I'm going to puke. It's not just Johnny, though. The other members of the club look listless as well. Stand there, everyone. Kashin lines us up side by side and forms a pentagram seal with his fingers. Domonsamon. His fingers radiate. And immediately, something heavy and grim binding our bodies vanishes. What was that? It dispelled the ward off my asthma. While temporary, it should make you a little more resilient for the moment. Oh, thanks. Come, we have no time to waste. Oh shit. Alright. The miasma coming from the stage is even stronger, yet we approach it. Hey, is anyone here? Answer if you hear me. Keep your voice down. You have to breathe calmly or the effects of the spell are going to wear off quickly. But we have to save them. Hmm. Johnny, over there. A few shadowy figures stand up from their seats. The mist is making it hard to see clearly, but they're slowly rocking left and right as they move. Good eye, bro. Hey, you guys okay? John rushes down the stairs toward them. Wait, stay away from them! Huh? But it was already too late. Johnny has out his hand on their shoulder. Uh-oh. In an instant, the shadowy figure grabs Johnny's hand and drags him towards the seats. What? Johnny! Ow! Oh. <laughs> Johnny! I leap down onto a theater seat in pursuit. Johnny! It's gay. The heck? I see the spectator biting Johnny's arm. Get off him! I violently kick the man off and take Johnny's hand. Johnny, you okay? Oh. Mitsuke behind you! Huh? Countless hands reach out from between the seats trying to catch me. It was as if I were watching a B-horror movie. Oh. Get your filthy hands off of Oni-chan! Sai comes in from the side to deliver the incredibly strong kick, knocking the audience members flying back. Sai? Be careful, Nichan, it's not over yet. <laughs> Challenge the checkpoint. Is this a soul one? Yeah. Do I have enough? I do. Nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, I saw they had another Ninja Master event, so I was probably going to farm a little bit of that. Okay. Through the purple haze, I see multiple shadows rising one by one. Johnny, can you walk? Y yeah. I lend Johnny a shoulder and dash to our friends. While the audience members reach out trying to grab us. Out of the way. I'm pushing my way through the crowd. Damn it! Meet again, Johnny! Are you okay? I'm fine, but what's wrong with them? That's what happens when you breathe in too much miasma. You lose your sanity and become a monster that protects the lair. Is there any way to save them? They'll eventually return to normal if we block the place the haze is plumbing from. But to do that, we have to get past them first. Numerous audience members stand up from their seats and walk this way. There are too many of them, and we can't kill them. Then what should we do? It's simple. Dash. What? The dragon lair is over there. 
Kashim points to a corner of the stage. The miasma is pluming from behind that door. That passage for the employees? There's no time to think. If they get close to you, kick them back. And don't be gentle. <laughs> don't be gentle. Move on. Kashin starts sprinting. Uh, guys, come on. Okay. Y yes. We follow Kashin rushing down the staircase besides the seats. Of course, the infected audience members are trying to grab us all, all the time. I kick them to the ground one by one as I move forward. Hurry! Kashin have al has already opened the door and is waiting for us. Great, we can do this. Okay. Number six. Uh oh, Rika. But that's when one of the infected audience members catches Rika. Nice. Rika begins to absorb the cool air, causing the area around her to turn white. But instantly... What? Let go. Rika! She is swarmed by a crowd of crazed men, making her unable to use ninjutsu. Rika, hold on, I'm coming! John jump kicks the man in the chest, knocking him out. Johnny, thanks. My pleasure. Hurry! And just like that, we leap to the door of Kashin open for us. Great, everyone did it. Inside, we find what can only be described as an underground cave to the untrained eye. There is banging at the door, but Kashin is leaning against it to keep it shut and looks at us. Grab that bench and bring it over here. Uh, Alright. Ready, Bitsuge? Johnny and I grab the ends of the bench that Kashin pointed at. One, two, three. Good, now bolt the door. The vibrations goes through the bench and I can feel the audience members banging. But the hard iron door and heavy bench seem to be strong enough to protect us from their fierce blows. Okay, you can let go now. Phew. I let go, then sigh in relief. John, on the other hand, is clinging onto the handrails. Ugh. Johnny? I feel so heavy. Dude, are you okay? Mr. Elia, you should probably stay away from him. Kashin grabs Johnny's listless arm and pulls it towards the light. There's a bite mark. Hmm. This is why. And if we don't do something, you're going to turn into one of them. <laughs> so this is pretty much turned into a zombie movie. That's funny. What? Why me? Is there a cure? Use this. Kashin pulls something out of his pocket that looks like a case for roll film. Hmm. There are tablets inside. It's a serum. It should blunt the effects of the miasma. But as long as you're in the theater, you could eventually be tainted again. There's no guarantee you'll be okay here even if you take the cure. So, what are you saying? He needs to go outside and take the serum there. Well, hold on, I'm still fine. I can help. The miasma is only going to get thicker as we go on. I can't let you come with us. Alright. Can you stand? Yeah, I'm cool. Johnny tries to stand, but he loses the balance and falls on his rear. Oof. Johnny? Thought so. I need someone to get Johnny out of here. It's probably gonna be Rika, I think. I'll do it. Someone please take him. Johnny, give up. Uh... 
Okay, what's the Miu choice here? Mm. Someone please take him, Johnny, give up. Maybe this one? We'll try this one. Someone, please take Johnny to safety. I wish I could do it myself, but I'm the only one who can use the Kamui. Ah, oh, damn, it was a cutty. Fuck. <laughs> ah, sucks. Alright, I'll take him. Sorry about this, Akadi. No, Miss Hano needs to come with me. Why? You can use the Izumo, can you not? Yes, but... We might need your help. Get someone else to take Mr. Spicer to safety. But... Akadi, we have to listen to him. Meet again. Cuddy squeezes the Izumo and replies with a smile. You're right. Kashin shoots us a look. Miss Kashima, Miss Tokakushi, take Mr. Spicer outside. Okie dokie. Okay. Nano, Sai, I trust you two take good care of him. You can count on us. Zon, lean on my shoulder. Wow, Johnny, you're heavier than you look. Sai and Nano support Johnny from both sides. John looks over at me and groans in agony. <laughs> okay, so that was the Akari choice. God damn it. That possibly could have affected things, but we'll see. Anyway. Huh. <laughs> Who's got the harem now, Mitsuke? Must be my lucky day. <laughs> Congratulations, Johnny. Get some sleep, okay? We'll take care of the rest. We fist bump. Then Sai and Nano will help John walk to the back door. We go farther into the hole underneath the basement of the theater. Now, deep underground, I am taken aback. What is that? A fissure goes across the ground and the miasma is blowing out of it. The crack runs deep into the earth like a never-ending pit of darkness. It's as if I were starting were staring into the gloomy abyss to the hell. It's hard to believe such a place exists beneath the theater. This is the dragon lair. This is where the energy from the dragon veins is flowing to. Hmm. It's clear there's something wrong with this one. Kashin looks down the hole with knitted brows. The flow of my asthma is too strong. I can't see what's happening down there. Looks like we have to go in. We're going down that hole? Yeah, there should be a way down. Look closely. I see multiple footsteps heading toward the narrow passage of the ravine. Is someone else here? Maybe. Some of the infected were probably drawn over here by the powerful miasma. And it looks like there are a lot of them. The path branches off here. It splits into three, huh? Great. There are footprints heading down each way. Kashin gazes at the footprints for a while, then lifts his head. Let's split up. Alright. I get closer to the ground to get a better look at the footprints. As I do, the thick miasma plumes from beneath, scorching my throat. <coughs> the spell's starting to wear off. And the miasma's only going to get denser the deeper we go in. I'll cast a spell on you one more time. It would be great if you all made it to the end, but turn back if you feel you can't take it anymore. We nod. Miss Machiyuki, Miss Suo, and I are Team A. Miss Ayanji and Miss Fuma are Team B. Miss Uraya, Miss Hano, and Miss Momochi are Team C. Got it. 
I hope we meet again. It's kind of grim, if you ask. Like, I hope we meet again, so where he's expecting us to die down there. <laughs> he's anticipating somebody dying. It's like, I don't think anybody's going to die because... At least... They all suffer from main character syndrome, so they're going to be fine, I'm pretty sure. But, who knows? Kashin turns his back to me, then begins to walk down the path in the middle. Rika and Yamabuki look back at us once more before they go. Later. Yeah, later. Yamabuki sends me a spark, then follows up to Kashin. Rika, on the other hand, doesn't show any signs of liveliness. Mitsuke, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What's wrong? Arm was grabbed by the infected. Tried to use ninjutsu. Failed. Hard to use ninjutsu because of my asthma. Only going to get thicker. Can't imagine what will happen. Be careful. Rika leaves us with those words, then rushes over to catch up with Kashin. We'll be seeing you. Good luck. Don't mess up, Mitsuge. Oh, and make sure not to do anything perverted, either. I'll see what I can do. Mitsuge, come on! Let's go, Mitsuge-senpai! Be right there. The deeper we go into the cave, the thicker the miasma gets. It's getting hard to breathe. I don't even want to imagine what this would be like without Kashin's spell. Mitsuke, are you okay? Yeah, how about you two? No problem here. I'm fine, but... Miyu puts her fingers on her forehead and stops. What's wrong? Is my asthma affecting you? No, it's not that. I... I'm having a vision... A flash of light... An explosion... And darkness... Ah! Miyu cradles her head in her hands and crouches. Miyu! I rub her back. Mitsuke-senpai, I couldn't see the future clearly. Miu! Oh shit. So it's like her danger sense kicking in. Akari worriedly supports Miu. What do you want to do? Want to head back? I'm fine. It's not the miasma's fault. But Miu! However, Akari is not able to hide her concern. I'll protect you. Anyone up for Kabuki after it's over? Kashi's gonna be mad if we leave. I'll protect you. It's going to be okay. I'll protect you no matter what. There's always a way. We'll get through this like we always have. Meet again. Miyu briefly glances up at me in wonder. Then she shakes her head and gazes at me once more with her eyes brimming with determination. You're right. It'll all work out in the end. Yeah! Akari finally smiles. Alright, let's do this. That's when it happens. <laughs> okay. I think I'll do this one for a thumbnail. Alright. The Kamui hanging from my hip begins to radiate heat. Oh, I didn't forget about you, Kamui. I'm counting on you. I touch Kamui's sheath. And as if the heat were encouraging me to go on, I face the darkness ahead. Let's end this. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. 
Welcome to the next episode preview corner with me, Nano. And me, Mew. We finally solved the mystery at the shrine. And wham! Another problem. This time at the Kabuki Theater, though. I still can't believe there's a cave underneath. If there are dragon veins running all throughout the city, then that means this cave is connected to every nook and cranny in town, right? It sure makes the cave seem very mystical when you think about it. Guess I wouldn't know, though. I had to take Johnny to a safe place, after all. Oh yeah, I'm sorry about that. There's nothing you need to apologize for. In fact, I think it was a blessing in disguise. Why? Because I forgot to record all the late night anime that comes on today. But if I leave now, I'll be able to make it back home in time. Nano Senpai, you're not seriously thinking about going home, right? But wait, why? Are you disappointed in me or something? Because I was kidding! You shouldn't take jokes so seriously. <sighs> Nano Senpai. Let's start the next episode preview, shall we? Uh, okay. The Ninja Seeking Club has split up, heading toward the deepest layer of the Abyss. But of course, it's not going to be easy. The Infected are going to try to stop Mitsuge from making it. But getting past them isn't the end. Mitsuge and the others need to stop the Miasma as well. I don't know, but I've got a bad feeling about this. What's going to happen to us? Yeah... Well, the only thing we could do is keep moving forward. We just had to believe, huh? Exactly. Regardless, it looks like we'll find out soon. Season 13, Chapter 9. The Last Boss. Hope you enjoy it. Okay. One is closer than Miu. Hell yeah. So I think given there's still two more chapters left, I should be able to get the ending at this rate. I think I just need like a handful more choices and it should be good. Nice! Nine parts in the next one? Okay. Alright you guys, so I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. So it looks like this is probably going to be the last big, big event in the chapter before, big event in the season before it ends, so. I was kind of hoping to see more of the... Uh, like I was talking about in the last video, more of the Urban Legends. See them touch on some of those, but... I guess this is probably, probably going to take up... Given that they're making a big deal about this, it's probably going to take up the rest of the season, so... Oh, well. It is what it is. But yeah, I guess we'll see what happens to the gang in the next one. Cool. Alrighty. Well, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, you can let me know by leaving a like or telling me in the comments below. Subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Alright, peace.